Hello everyone, welcome back to X and Yon channel. In this video, I will share with you how to set up a brokerage account in Singapore based on my personal experience. So far, I only have one brokerage account for me to trade Singapore and the US stocks. Before I start the video, do smash the like button and comment below which brokerage account have you been using so that we can learn from each other. Step 1. Research Before opening any brokerage account, I suggest to do some comparison on the brokerage fee among several brokerage accounts. There are a few reputable brokerage firms in Singapore, including DBS Wickles, OCBC Securities, UOB Kahian, Philips Securities, CIMB Securities, and Maybank Kiming. More or less, they are charging the similar commission rate at minimum $25 per trade or 0.28% of the trading value, whichever is higher. For online accounts such as Saxo Market and TD Ameritrade, they definitely charge a cheaper commission rate at minimum $10 or even less at the moment. There are also some trading platforms that do not charge any commission fee, such as Poem by the Philips Securities and the Tiger Brokers. I've attached the link for your reference in the description below. Second, decide on the market access whether you want to buy only SGX listed stocks or you want to have access to the foreign market, such as in Malaysia, Hong Kong, Australia, or the US. Third, decide whether to open a CDP link account. For investors who would like to buy Singapore listed stocks, you can consider open a CDP account with SGX. A CDP account, Central Depository Account, allows you to be the direct owner of the stocks that you purchase. The stocks will be put under your name. Unlike a custodian account, the stocks that you purchase will be kept and managed by your brokerage firm and they will charge you a custodian fee. For example, you can have a few brokerage accounts for you to trade Singapore stocks such as DBS Wickers or Philip Securities. If you buy Singtel stocks via DBS Wickers and some Gunding stock via Philip Securities, you can view all your stocks holdings when you log into the CDP account with SGX. However, if you buy under a custodian account, you can only view your stocks when you log into the respective brokerage accounts. The benefits of having a CDP account is it is easier for you to manage all your portfolio. I suggest to open a CDP account if you intend to hold the stock for longer terms. Personally, I feel much more safer to be able to view all my stocks holding in one CDP account and I trust SGX which has been around in Singapore for more than 20 years to facilitate the trading activities. However, if I buy the US stocks, the stock will be kept and managed by my brokerage firms and I have to pay custodian fee every month which is $2 per counter. Step 2. Apply for a brokerage account. You can do it by going to the office physically or apply online. The benefits of heading to the physical office is that there will be an officer to help you to ensure proper completion of all necessary documents. What I need to do is to bring along my NRIC. Even though I was a foreigner, I am eligible to open a brokerage account in Singapore by presenting my work pass, my passport, a letter to prove my address, which is my bank statement. There are a lot of paperwork to fill up that took me about 20 to 30 minutes. If it is your first time, it will be easier for the officer to help you to fill up. You can let them know. If you haven't opened your CDP account, they can also help you to sign up on the spot. Let the officer know that you would like to have access to the foreign markets because there will be extra application forms that you need to fill up as well. I have recently opened a Saxo account online by using my SingPass account information. The process is very straightforward and convenient. It takes a while for the verification procedure due to the high volume of account opening. Step 3. Setting up the trading platform. Upon submission of all the application forms, I received the letters from my brokerage firms 
On how to set up the brokerage account using their online platform, I log in using the laptop and reset the password and verify a few details and then I download the apps in my phone for the convenient purpose so that I can trade anytime and anywhere. I also received a letter from SGS on setting up the CDP account, verify, reset the password and then log in using the SGS link. If you haven't applied for the CDP account, you can actually do it yourself via online application. I have attached the link in the description below for your reference if you want to. Fourth, start trading. So the question is to trade using cash account or pre-funded account. Trading using cash account can be more costly at minimum $25 per trade or about 0.28% of the trading value. The difference is the commission rate and the time. Using cash account is very straightforward and allows you to trade anytime when you spot the good opportunity. Once the trade is done, you can settle the amount subsequently in the next few business days. In comparison with using a pre-funded account, it is much cheaper at as low as $10 or less per trade. The only disadvantage is the time taken to credit the money into your pre-funded account. So if you have excess cash now and you are a frequent trader, I suggest to top up your pre-funded account so that whenever you want to trade, you have the money to buy the stock at a cheaper rate. It will be much more cost efficient in the long term. I think it is a good learning experience to start trading at the amount that you are comfortable with. I can always consult my broker on certain issue or my brokerage account. There is also a customer hotline if I encounter any login issue. There are a lot of resources that we can refer to before start trading. For example, by joining a community in the Facebook group or we can do our research online. So that's all on how to set up a brokerage account in Singapore. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel as we will continue to post video on investing. See you again next week.